All right, we're 39 days till going to get the boat. So we've got to stop here at the storage unit and grab tools, safety equipment, and all the stuff that's in our storage unit that we need to bring down to the boat. So come on with us. boat stuff. Boat hooks come in handy. Fall weather gear, we're gonna need that. We are back at the apartment and we have all the stuff. So now we have to get all that stuff into our checked luggage. Um, and each bag needs to be less than 50 pounds. So let's go. You ready? <laughs> Rob took our deck vests and put the PLBs inside. So those new PLBs, we can meet the ResLink PLB and AIS together. They do fit in the Spinlock um, deck vests. Ditch, ditch bag, bag mm -hmm. that we went from a like 20 Huge pound bag. ditch bag yeah. to because we're mainly going to be coastal cruising so we didn't need all the extra like food water the solar still coming back up from the bbis we shouldn't be more than 40 miles offshore so um, that's really kind of coastal cruising we're not going to be cruising 150 miles offshore or anything like that um, so, you know, we don't need a huge big ditch bag. We'll still have enough stuff in that ditch bag to last us for 24, 36 hours and to get us through if something happens. So, um, yeah. So marriage savers, Rob's gonna install, install AIS once we get down there before we leave. e for the boat. Your snorkel stuff. Seriously. Coast Guard regulations when we get back to the U.S. Man overboard system, more, more part of the AIS. We have a uh, tiny little medical kit that we're carrying, mainly for like nausea, vomiting, infection, pain. Okay. Binoculars are coming with us. Plugs. Uh, so this is safe, more safety gear. So the jack lines. Another. We'll have to narrow that down. We're going to do a little bit of fishing if we can. Uh, we're going to bring um, two hand lines with us, uh, the yo-yos, so we could uh, try our yeah, hand yeah. at fishing while we're coming up and hopefully maybe catch a uh, mahi or a tuna. Who knows? Yeah, Lights, bosun's chair. Now yeah, I'm here to try and connect the camera. This is more um, butyl tape. tape in case we need to seal something up. Gloves. Tether. A little extra line. Actually, this is our uh, Bahama flag in case uh, we need to stop over in the Bahamas for a little while. Who knows? We may take a small little vacation. I don't know. I only have a limited amount of time. <laughs> Snap phone and line. Is that a light? Handheld VHF radio. Dry bag. All right, so we got to get all of this More bits into and those bags and hope that they're each 50 pounds. And all the tools. So we'll see how this goes. The tools are actually already kind of weighed out. The tools, I think, weighed 33 or 34 pounds. Um, they're going to be in their, set, their own bags, um, but 
each of these bags are, are going to have to sit into one of the luggage bags. So we'll have to get that. And um, yeah. Jacksonville arriving in St. Thomas at four o'clock and ready to confirm and book. Are you ready for this? Yep. Let's do it. So we connect in Miami? Connecting in Miami. All right. It's on its way. Booking the flight. Um, 
we're booked. We're connecting in Miami, so we've got like a three hour layover in Miami. Um, to St. Thomas? To St. Thomas, yep. And we'll spend the night in St. Thomas and then head over to Tortola Tuesday? That's correct. It's all coming together. All right. So here we are, six days out from closing on our boat. And we still have kind of a lot of stuff. We found out today our surveyor that previously surveyed the boat, Nico, is on vacation. So we we're still waiting, have to get... We're waiting to see if his boss is available to take a look at the boat or that we've got to locate somebody else on the island to do the job. Because uh, we have got to have somebody basically sign off on all the CAO that were agreed upon by the moorings and we're gonna work forward to that we just don't know who's gonna look at that because that has to be all signed off and done before insurance accepts the survey and before finance accepts the survey so we've got a lot of work to do but we don't it, we don't have a lot of work to do like but Man, I've got to be like a project manager stuff gets done. But also we found out that the bank hasn't even signed off on our original survey yet. So there's items in there that we're crossing our fingers and they get fixed and that gets signed off. Well that's all in the CAOB and hopefully that you know, we'll see. I mean, what else has to be done? Oh so they say the boat is finished and that she's being washed and waxed and polished today. Um, so she should look absolutely the mooring space as it's finished, <laughs> but when we finally can get someone out there to survey it, we'll actually see what the what it really looks like. Yes, um, I'm, I'm praying that everything is is done as to what was promised. Yep. So we leave here on Monday. We head down to go get the boat. So we're taking the last bit of crossed that we come back with the boat and not fly back home. be a good day for us or the moorings I can tell you that but we are on our way now to take 20 pounds of extra stuff to Bill and Carrie's house who is going to fly to Puerto Rico and meet us and they're gonna crew they're gonna be part of our crew to get her home so <laughs> yeah so cross your fingers so we are at the bank now transferring more money than our last house cost um, for the part of the down payment for the boat. <laughs> it's really important to put people who really know what they're doing in positions to get things accomplished when it comes to closing on a boat. One of those things is a documentation specialist. Um, we are have run into a little bitty of a hiccup with our Coast Guard documentation for the boat. Uh, the seller had incorrectly filled the paperwork out and so all the paperwork that they submitted originally for the boat is messed up. So um, we're trying to have to figure that out and get all that corrected so we could actually do our paperwork properly. and. Um, just a funny thing when all this went down we are now days away and the seller is contacting the coast guard to get things fixed and we're like no stop let our documentation specialist handle everything and and just take care of it pay the money get a documentation specialist let them take care of it they they have insurance for errors and omissions and so you know that they everything's going to be done right and you don't have to worry about it and don't worry about the headaches and everything else. Just get a documentation specialist and let them handle it. I am leaving work the last day um, before we go closing our boat in the BVI's. It was the longest day ever and I am so excited to be on my way home.